Well, hello, everybody. This is Dave, your host from Universal Truth to Mankind. Please come and visit our website at utom.org. Um, I suspect a lot's going to be happening in the next three or four months with the Internet and with social media. Um, and as a result, if you need to find us, you can go uh, look at the website and you can find out where we're where we are at. Because uh, I'm slowly moving off of Facebook now. Um, I closed up a couple of groups. I closed up a few pages. So I'm only left with my profile and Genesis Walk, which is now frozen. Um, I may occasionally put things up there, but the plan is that's eventually going to go as well. Uh, so anyway, you can find me. Please email me. I'm going to be on YouTube as long as I can, and I will be putting videos up. Hopefully, by the time this video is up, I've already shown you a Q&A question. It was about uh, reincarnation, or it touched on reincarnation, so that should be very interesting to all of you. Um, so ask questions, post them below, and I'll be happy to uh, answer them. All right, I don't want to hold up too long here. Uh, this video is going to go a little longer than normal, so... Just please be patient and just listen through. I want to talk about the subject of Israel. Now, when I say Israel, I don't mean the people. I don't mean the land. I'm talking about the event of, of Jacob's wrestling with Esau's angel. So Esau had an angel. What was this angel? Well, before I start, we're, we're going to touch on that. The name Israel, which was eventually the name that Jacob was given, I have more information on that in the link down below. All right, I want to say that before I forget. So let's move on. What happened is Esau's angel, <coughs> which is equated to the ego, the ego wrestled, or I should say Jacob wrestled with, the, with his ego, with Esau's ego, which was also his ego. He had to fight himself. He had to fight the desire for self versus others. He had to fight the desire for self-gratification and will over God's. Now what happened after this event, or near the end of this event, he captured the angel. Remember, this angel is strong only at night, not during the day. So, at the at near daybreak, he grabs hold of this, has wrestles, holds on to <clears throat> this angel and says, I won't let you go to the bless me. What does that mean? That means the ego had to honor him. In other words, the ego became subservient to Jacob. So Jacob now won. Relate and he was blessed. Angel departed him. He was renamed. And his name was from Jacob to Israel. Now, this is an important thing. What does Israel mean? Does this apply to you and I? In fact, it does. Do I have to be Jewish to, understand, to deal with it? No. You can be anyone anywhere in the world. From any religious background, ideological background, you can be any person, anywhere, race, color, creep, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter. Okay? So what happened here? Well, he was renamed. So the event took place. He was honored. He won. And now he's renamed Israel. Now, you can look at the Strong's coordinates. You can come up with various understandings of what Israel means. And I'm not saying they're invalid. But there's a key point that many forget. And that is that when you deal with Torah, characters, Hebrew characters are not wasted. Sometimes they're added. Sometimes they're removed. And there's a reason for those things. They're not errors or misspellings, but rather to emphasize something. So, with that in mind, you have Israel. Some say that means wrestles with God. The problem with that is that if you take a look at the text, the rest, the word wrestling is not the same word. 
So you're talking about an event, and then you're talking about the results of that event. In other words, there's a gateway that took place. It's like fighting at the door. You've got to fight, win, and then you can walk through the door. He, uh, Jacob did that. So he walked through the door, and what, he, what happened is he renamed to Yisrael. Now, when you take a look at the Strong's Concordances and Christian um, uh, sources, they don't realize they left out the Yud, the very first character. It's Yisrael, not Israel. Or Shatrael. It's Yisrael. So it's two words. It's a compound word. It's Yasher El. So we know El means God, but what does Yasher mean? Uh, like I said, there's a link below. You can look it up. It means direct. So there's a deeper hint of a meaning here that needs to be explored. So what does direct mean? Direct means upright. And here's a key word. It means honest. In other words, he got rid of his ego. He's controlling his ego. And now he's approached God with true sincerity. And because of true sincerity, he entered into a new relationship with the Creator. And that's what the name is emphasizing. Now, what does that mean to you and I? Remember, this is just like a periphery thing. Normally, I talk about the body, mind, soul. But now I'm dealing with Israel. So how, how does this fit into the body, mind, soul? The way we have to struggle with our ego in order to approach the Creator. Now, how do we approach the Creator? Through the soul. The Creator's already reached down, just dangling, waiting for you to... It's like, like you're watching a movie or something, and they're on a cliff, and you see the guy or the lady stretching that arm, trying to meet up with the other, and they're, they're like, uh, uh, trying to get near, and then all of a sudden you... They, Clasp hands. And the hero saves the day. <laughs> Demsel in distress. The hero saves the day. <clears throat> um, so there's already down. But we struggle with our ego. We have to conquer that. This is something we all need to do. And when we do this, then we have a direct connection through the doorway of the soul to connect to the Creator. So it's very important to understand what that word Yisrael means at a deeper level. So as you leave here, contemplate what the ego does. How does the ego keep you separated from the key? How does it distract you? Oh, there's nothing to look there. There's nothing to look there. Just look over here. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. We've got this great website to look at. We, we've got this cute little girl or guy over there. Um, oh, there's a um, uh, beef Wellington over here. Um, you know, something to, to distract ourselves <clears throat> or to be distracted um, because the ego is interested in self-will. So self-will has to be negated, controlled by the will of the creator. And that's by choice. When we do that, we open up the gateway, the door, so we can go directly upright and be honest with the creator. So contemplate these things. Sorry this took a little longer than normal, but please add questions below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Like, share, um, have a great, actually, New Year. Well, no, no, New Year, by the time I post this, New Year's only going to pass, so I hope you had a good New Year, and have a great New Year. All right, take care, everybody. Shalom, shalom.